Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now, this is a very, very special one. As you may or may not know, Intel's 13th gen Raptor Lake is launching on the 20th of October, and I've been lucky enough to get one of their press kits to do some launch content with. Uh, absolutely super excited about this. It's always been one of my um, YouTube bucket list things to do. So, yeah, the fact that it's here is uh, rather special to me. So they've kindly sent out the press kit and we've also got a Aorus Z790 motherboard to go with it. I'm gonna try and do my best to get a 13900K build done for launch, but I've literally got one day because I'm away for a press event. So hopefully I can get all the filming done, then I'll edit when I'm there and hopefully you'll see something on the, uh, on the embargo list on the Thursday. So here's hoping, but this one is gonna be a little bit of a teaser, preview what's to come and just basically look at some epic hardware before we can actually give you some specs and kind of benchmarks and stuff so let's just briefly just cover the motherboard i'm going to do a separate overview on this got so heavy um, but this is the aurus z790 aurus master board definitely going to pair this with the 13900 rather overkill for the 13600 but like i said i will do a separate video for this there's some crazy heat sinks on this it's just absolutely packed the rear io as well which is ridiculous so i will be doing a separate video on that but the main thing I want to show you guys today is this Intel press box. Now, just first and foremost, just have a look how shiny and just how pretty it is. I'm also wearing a blue shirt. That was coincidental as well. Um, not to, uh, you know, go with the team blue or anything. So open it up. We do see this is actually a blown up view of one of the, the insides under the IHS of the processor. So you've got your performance and uh, efficiency cores. I actually had a display that Intel sent me of the 12th gen. So you can see just how that 12th gen processor looks. And then this is the inside of the 13th gen. So a little cool breakdown. Now, if we lift the flaps, we're gonna start off with the left-hand side. This is a little special, um, what would you call it? Uh, like a paperweight. But this is, again, the inside of one of the processors. A little bit easier to tell what's on it than uh, this blown up one and then on the back we've got some information about the new processor so it lists the SKUs they're doing at launch so we've got the 13900k which is a up to 3.8 gigahertz of performance core max turbo and then you've got a total of 24 cores so you've got eight performance and then 16 efficiency cores 32 threads 36 megabytes of level 3 cache 32 megabytes of total level 2 cache the other one we're going to look at is the 13600K, which is a max of 5.1 gigahertz, 14 cores, so six performance and eight efficiency with 20 threads. So the price these are coming in at 13600, I believe is 349. 14 cores for that price is ridiculous. Now, a little bit of context. When I first built my PC back in 2010, my first gaming PC, that was a quad core processor. And at the time, quad cores were like a massive thing. Um, so to have another 10 core slapped onto it for a budget price, pretty much the same price that I paid back at the time then, it's just ridiculous. It's crazy how far technology has progressed over that amount of time. Um, and then the pricing for the 13900K, I believe was 629, I think on scan. There's another little thing on the corner of this plaque as well. This is number 388 of 962 in the world. That's really cool. So I shall pop this somewhere on the set. So it's in the background, or I might just use the box actually, because you know the box is nice and shiny anyway. So next up, we have the right-hand side, of course. And then this is where we're gonna see our processors. So this is the 13600K. So the 14 core, probably gonna be the one that a lot more people will be looking at, or maybe even the 13700. We've got that one, and then we've got the 24 core 32 thread behemoth the 13900k down at the bottom there so there we go so 24 cores 32 threads in a desktop processor is absolutely ridiculous um that's something you'd only see on like server grade processors a few years back but now it is on the mainstream desktop processors so again crazy how far things have come uh, with technology so there we go guys, that was a look at the new 13th gen Raptor Lake processors, the i5 and the i9. 
get subscribed and ding the bell because you might be seeing a build video hit your subscription box in a matter of days. It's going to be absolutely ridiculous as well. Um, absolutely you know, respect to the nines. So yes, yeah, stay tuned and look forward to that. A big thank you to everyone that supported my content thus far as well. Um, motherboard and CPU launch stuff was always a goal for me. So to be able to actually do it is, you know, truly means the world to me. So hopefully this is just the start and uh, we can do some more for many years to come. So thank you all for watching guys. I hope you all enjoyed it and stay tuned and I'll see you all in the next one.